be talking about a pet per se. Um, they are living animals and you might think they're gross, but that's okay because I don't. If you remember a video I made, oh god, like a month ago, I did a review and unboxing from DoobieRoaches.com and I tried out some roaches then and everyone loved them. So I've been buying them and buying them and I realized, wow, I'm spending a lot of money on this and it turns out Doobie Roaches are really easy to breed. So I decided to set up my own colony. Right now I have like, you know, 60 roaches living in my bedroom. <laughs> Nick thinks it's gross, mom thinks it's gross. I'm fine with it. I just started the colony. It's by no means like up and running. I think all of the roaches in there are just the ones that I bought to get things started along with the adult pairs that I got. So I figured I could kind of like do this along with you guys, like once a month give you an update on how the roaches are doing that kind of thing. Just so like you can learn while I learn and when I make a mistake you won't have to make that mistake. I guess let's meet the roaches? <laughs> this is the tub that the roaches live in. I don't have any holes in the top but I leave the lid loose. So they still get air and everything. They can't climb the walls of this, but just in case, I usually have the tub in a spare tank I have with a lid, but none of them have gotten out in the couple weeks that I've had them. Inside, we see all the babies. These are nymphs, they're known as, all of these little guys. Hi. And that's what I got in the mail in my unboxing video, was this kind of thing. And they can live like two months, no problem. They're really, really easy to take care of. But I have them in here, and I have some egg crate. And then over there you can see I put some pineapple in for them. And then they also have some little dew over there for them to chew on. But I need to put more in there. When we turn this over, we see the adults and some more babies so i will pick one up of each so you can see him up close this one here is a male and it did take quite a bit of time to get him to get on my hand they're very squirrely and i don't want to like crunch them or anything so anyway this one's a male they do have fully developed wings but everywhere i've read about them says they don't ever use them so not worried about him flying off not worried about him flying off with his fully developed wings the females as you'll see when i get one of them out are bigger and they do not have fully developed wings yeah this is daddy roach here is one of the females so they have you can kind of see little undeveloped wings i can't remember the exact word for it right now but they are longer and fatter than the males you can't actually develop an allergy to them if you handle them too much, so I really try to keep the handling to a minimum. And that's the adults and the nymphs. So other than this, I probably will not pick the adults up and the babies I just pick up to quickly feed. That's about it I can think of to tell you about them. Um, I don't think she's had any babies yet. I'll let you know when she does. If you're wanting to get any dubias or any other feeder insects, I highly recommend dubiaroaches.com. Not sponsored. They're just really good, and I think you should give recognition to good companies, especially small businesses. Make sure that they're legal to have wherever you live. Some places, like I'm pretty sure Canada and also Florida, you can't have any tropical species of roach. I know that in Florida that's because they could, you know, thrive there, and I'm not sure about Canada. It's not real tropical up there. It's very nice. I would like to live in Canada. But yeah, just make sure you're not gonna, like, break any laws by having roaches. There are other decent feeders. I think they're better than crickets, most people would agree, but if that's all you can get, that's all you can get. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will reply to them or just any nice things you want to say. I like nice things. I have all of my social media accounts linked down below in the description. Those 
<laughs> yeah, she knows. Those are Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Add me on those, and I'm pretty active on them. You'll get to see a whole nother side of me if you follow me on them, because I talk about video games and politics sometimes, and music, because I'm a musician. All right, well, I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.